was good y'all Ritz Sosa checking back in and man as you can see I am currently back on the current gen bringing y'all another build that y'all are really going to really enjoy I'm telling y'all I'm going to bring y'all every single build when it comes to PS4 as well as PS5 y'all I'm going to bring y'all every single build out there possible but before we even get into this, I just want to say thank y'all to the Rich Gang family and every supporter showing up and showing out. And as you can see by the looks of the title on the screen, the build I'm bringing y'all today is going to be none other than the two-way mid-range scorer, y'all. I literally just brought y'all the two-way mid-range shooter. Now we're going to change up the name a little bit. But before we even get into the making of this... Y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, y'all. To the Rich Gang family and every single supporter. Run up those likes. Let's go ahead and get 50 likes on this banger. Be sure to share it with your family and friends. And be sure to have on those post notices so y'all can see when I upload every single day. Now, when it comes to the position, we are going to be going with the shooting guard y'all this build is going to be a little bit different from what y'all normally will see on this but again it is in fact still a really good build especially if you love making the rare builds now when it comes to the pie chart we are going to be going with the one that is split right down the middle between the defensive and the shooting y'all this one is really good i love the fact that we're going to be able to get the hall of fame defense as well as shooting badges now when it comes to the physical profile by all means you can pick any of them based on your preference this is not one of those builds where picking a different physical profile will change the name so with that being said go ahead and pick the one with 83 speed 51 strength 82 acceleration and 83 vertical y'all personally i'll be real with y'all i love having vertical when it comes to making any kind of build for the simple fact that I feel like that really helps you get rebounds over builds that have a lower vertical. Now, again, when it comes to these stats, y'all have to do everything exactly as I'm going to show y'all. So when it comes to the close shot, go ahead and put that at 84. Put your driving layup to a 77, driving dunk to a 73, and your standing dunk to a 38, y'all. Now, when it comes to the shooting, for sure, we're going to be able to hit with this build. So go ahead and put your mid-range shot to an 83. Go ahead and put your three-pointer to a 75. Free throw is going to be an 88. And when it comes to your post fade, again, it's all based on preference with how many badges y'all want to run. But I'm going to go ahead and put it to where we get exactly 18 badges. And that's going to be with a post fade of 63, y'all. Now, when it comes to the playmaking, go ahead and max out your pass accuracy at 78. Go ahead and do the same thing with your ball handle at 75. And put your post moves to 40. Now, when it comes to the perimeter defense, go ahead and put that at 85. Go ahead and put your lateral quickness at 85 as well. From here, you're going to go ahead and put on your steal at 91. And then from here, you're going to put your defensive rebound maxed out at 73. You have a couple remaining attribute upgrades left over. You could really put them anywhere you want to go ahead with. But again, I really like it really doesn't change the build name. Again, one other thing here, you cannot put it on your three-pointer. If you go ahead and do that, you will be getting a different build name. And we do not want that so by all means you can put it to any other category but your three-point shot now when it comes to the body shape by all means again you can really pick whatever one is your favorite personally i do like burly built is a really good one as well but i like defined when it comes to this build now for the height we have to go short with this build y'all i know i know short builds are usually not anybody's favorite but Again, short builds can be good, especially when it comes to the speed. We have to go with 6'2 for this one. Weight, again, there's a perfect weight. I feel like the best weight is honestly going to be at 170. Anything higher than that, it will take a hit when it comes to your stats. Wingspan, you have to go with 74.9 or 74.0, y'all. If you go anything higher than 74.9, you will be getting a different build name. We do not want that. We came for one build specifically. But again, you still get a lot of really good takeovers when it comes to doing it this kind of way. 
Now, we're going to get the lockdown, the shot creating, the playmaking, as well as the slashing, y'all. I'm telling y'all right now, the slashing is going to be a really good one, especially with the amount of badges that we have, which is going to be three. It'll really help you out when it comes to finishing around the rim. Lockdown, that one's just going to be OP all around, and even the shot creating is a real considerable one. Now, I'm going to go with Lockdown Defender. Now, let's go ahead and check out the build name, and as y'all can see, we get a legit two-way mid-range score y'all in Allen Iverson comparison Victor Oladipo Donovan Mitchell I'm telling y'all some really great comparisons but I'm glad that we got the Iverson one that we did now let's go ahead and get right into what this build is going to look like at 99 you're going to get plus eight to your physicals your speed is going to be a 96 y'all when it comes to your acceleration that's going to be a 95 Vertical is going to get boosted, y'all, to a 91. That is really good for this build, so do not worry about the main physicals. When it comes to the close shot, you're going to have an 85. Driving layup is going to be an 81, and our driving dunk will be a 74, y'all. Mid-range shot is going to get boosted to 89. Three-pointer will be an 81. Free throw is going to be a 92, and our post fade is a 74. But the good thing about this here, we're going to have a pass accuracy of 82, Ball handle will go up to 84. Perimeter defense is going to go up as well to 88. We're going to have an 88 lateral quickness, a 94 steal, and then we're going to have a 71 defensive rebound, which is really going to help you out board over smaller guards. Now let's get right into the most important part of the video, y'all. I wouldn't say most important, but honestly, top three, the badges. So I'm going to go with Bronze Pro Touch, Contact Finisher, as well as Relentless Finisher. All these are going to be really helpful badges, especially with the fact that we're going to get those plus four at 99. It'll really go hand in hand with that. But when it comes to the shooting, y'all, the essential badges are going to be Range Extender as well as Hot Zone Hunter. From here, we have a total of 10 remaining. I'm going to go with Silver Corner Specialist. I feel like it's really good, especially on current gen when you keep it on silver. Now from here, we have eight remaining badges you could go with difficult shots as well as hot start if you want to but let's say you don't want difficult shots you could even put on green machine it really comes down to your play style and what you want to do when it comes to setting up these badges now when it comes to the playmaking y'all essential badges are going to be handles for days as well as quick first step we have a total of six remaining badges so you could go with a couple bronze few silver or two gold straight up if you want to get ankle breakers, by all means, put on ankle breaker on gold. But I'm going to go ahead and put on tight handles for sure. We want that on gold. And I'm also going to put on space creator so that way we can break some ankles for sure. But again, you could go ahead and take off tight handles and then put on bronze unpluckable and bailout as well as stop and go. That's another really good setup. Neither of these options are wrong. It comes down to your play style and your preference. When it comes to the defense, y'all, you need to throw on intimidator on Hall of Fame. From here, we're also going to put on clamps as well. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and do this. Put on bronze rim protector as well as bronze chase down artist as a suggestion if you want to get those blocking animations. You could also put on pickpocket on silver. It really comes down to what you want to do. Again, you necessarily do not need rim protector as well as chase down because of the height. Let's say you don't even want pickpocket. You could put on pick dodger on silver. It's a really good badge as well. I feel like defensive leader all around will help out your team. Tireless defender is another good one that y'all can consider. But again, it's going to come down to what you want to do and what you feel most comfortable with when you're running with this kind of build. But as you can see, we get a total of 3, 18, 12, and 18 again, y'all. Thank y'all so much to the Rich Gang family. Thank y'all to every single one of y'all for always showing your amazing love, showing y'all amazing support. I'm telling y'all right now, I'm going to continue to drop every single build on both consoles. And I am not going to give up on this, y'all. Thank y'all so much for all the love, all the amazing support. Thank y'all to the Rich Gang family. Thank y'all to all the new supporters. But man... Y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, y'all. To the Rich Gang family and all the supporters, run up those likes. Let's go ahead and get 50 likes on this banger. Be sure to share with your family and friends and turn on post notice so y'all can see when I upload every single day. Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.